Hey guys, so I uh, had a request to help Demi with one of her projects. So the, what she wants to do is she wants to create a uh, insignia, uh, basically a rank insignia for Lieutenant Colonel. And what she wants to do, she has everything already built out, but the problem is she needs to be able to kind of create an angle on the leaves so the angle so the leaves would kind of come up this way and then go back down this way and this would come up and that would go down etc 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 so uh, the problem is the way she has this drawn it will not work so we're gonna have to kind of redo that and then I'll show you how to create multiple angles so I think that's probably her sketch right there yeah okay so here it is and we'll stop the sketch okay so here we're gonna go ahead and just create a sketch a sketch right on top of this and then we're gonna hit L for line and we'll bring this into looks looks like the middle and here here now what we're going to do is what this video is going to do is it's going to show you how to kind of extrude something on an angle or press pull on an angle or whatever. Now, in other 3D applications or 3D programs, what you will find yourself doing more often than not is being able to uh, just kind of grab a point and drag it downward. Okay, so let's go ahead and stop that sketch. Okay. Good. So normally what you'd be able to do is just grab a point, right? Drag it down, and it kind of creates the curves for you. Well, in Fusion 360, you don't have that opportunity. So what you have to do is you kind of have to go like this. We're going to go ahead and... We'll start here. So this one here is got to get angled down. So we'll select that. And we're going to go to Construct, Plane at an Angle. Move that out of the way. And I don't know, I'm thinking maybe 10%. I'm sorry, 10 degrees. We'll go 15 degrees. Okay. So now we have a 15 degree plane cutting through our object here okay so negative 15 got it so next then we'll go like this we'll sit and say press pull start profile plane which is the profile one-sided we're going to extend to or extent to an object which is going to be here right we don't have to worry about anything else we're going to select cut bam now we have this thing. Let's go ahead and make that plane go away. Bring back our drawing. Now we're going to do it again, coming down this way. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit Construct, Plane at an Angle, like this. And this will be plus 15 degrees, All right? so we can match it up. And then we'll do this again. Press Pull, Extent to Object, select the plane cut good so now if we go ahead and remove the construction lines see how it's got that dip and that's what she's looking for so we will go ahead yeah you can kind of see it there better Uh, let's just go ahead and we'll finish this up. Construct, plane at an angle. Uh, 
Uh, crap. Oh well, that's what happens with live video. Construct, plane at an angle here, 15 degrees, hit OK. Construction. Press pull to object. But you can literally do this with any angle that you want. Or any plane or any anything. And that's basically how you do it. Any questions? Uh, shoot me a message in the comments. And I'll do my best to help you out. Cheers, guys.